What's up guys? I'm gonna take you on a little trip here. I'm gonna go over to Dongguan, the next city over, and I'm gonna look for an RV. Uh, I've got a friend who makes RVs out there and he's got something that he thinks I'm gonna like. It's kind of halfway in between an RV and a van and I'm a little bit inspired. I've been inspired after the last road trip to get something a little bit better for the family to travel in. So let's go and take a look. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, so we're probably gonna hit some traffic and I would have had an earlier start, but we had quite a late night, 4.30 a.m., I got home. Last night was a dinner I had with my staff for a Chinese New Year dinner before they all head off for the holidays. So that's why we're getting a little bit of a late start here, but whatever, better late than never, right? So let's get on the road. We've arrived at the workshop. So, let's take a look at what they're working on here. Here's the frame for uh, one of their SUV or, or RVs, rather that they're working on. Or this is how it comes in, and then they just basically build on top of it. That's one model there that's finished. Looks like this one's just rolling off. The assembly line inside looks empty on that one. Here's some of the tops of the RVs. Uh, so this one's a work in progress. You can see, oh, they've got a washing machine there. Take a tour of an Iveco here. What was that? There's one more light. This one looks oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Got a TV here. This is uh, it's an Iveco model vehicle. Four seats. So you got two in the front and two in the back. And then the bed over here. This is your cooking area, yeah? Microwave, microwave at the top. And uh, storage. Does one have a washing machine? Yeah, in the back. Of Foldable sink. Mm -hmm. Foldable sink. Oh, fo folding sink. Okay. Toilet there. Shower. Air conditioning units up there. This is the fridge here, yeah? Missing beer. <laughs> Where did you say the washing machine was? This is the Oh, kind of. Washing machine is down here. <laughs> this one is finished one. This is uh, half done. Oh, right. which one is the one that's half done? Yeah, this one, this one. This one's oh, half done. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. But it's going to look the same as this one when it's done? Yeah, more or less. More yeah. or less. Uh. And then the, the one is a bare bone, right? Yeah, and then the one behind that is an Isuzu, right? Yeah, the, the Isuzu is a two. two of the, yeah, those this are guy big. is one of the customers. Uh, that's yeah. a big one over there, too, right? Yeah. Isuzu. Yeah, there's three, actually. There's a one, two, and three. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's look around yeah. a bit more. Yeah. Uh, before we leave here, we got I got to show you this. Before we leave this vehicle. Oh. So this part here comes down to reveal another bed. It's pretty cool. I could sleep a couple of people there too. Yeah. So you got two two there that and then and then two here. Just on that you can So you can see the ground. Yeah. Oh. And all of the uh upholstering they do themselves on these leather seats on the dash. It's all done in this factory. Oh and the and the ceiling too. 
Otis. That's a really nice light on the top too. Yeah, all this, all this custom made. You, you just touch it, you feel the quality. Yeah. 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 So you're gonna get your, you're gonna get your next one from here. Yeah. I think it's a good, good, yeah. good choice. Yeah. Yeah. All this uh, custom made. Yep. So this is the outside of the RV that we were just looking at, and I actually found out it actually it belongs to the guy who I'm interested in buying uh, the uh, other RV from. It's a smaller version. It's a small uh, kind of a Ford RV. He's only driven it for a year and he's looking to offload it because this is his new one. So I'm waiting for him to drive over here and bring his, his RV for me to look at. I'll give you a quick outside view of it too. There's a bike rack here. There's a storage compartment here. 220 volt charging for the battery system. You kind of see in here. The storage in there. They're, it looks like they're already ready to go on a vacation somewhere. Maybe for Chinese New Year, which is coming up. Yeah, not bad. It's probably uh, interesting to note they're working on this now. They're working on that one I showed you earlier, the bare model. And they can finish it within 20 to 30 days if it's a model they've made before. Basically, it can go from that to that in 20 or 30 days. Or actually this, what I'm standing beside, unless it's a custom model. So hopefully the next few shots will be of the guy uh, bringing the smaller RV that I'm interested in. I just had dinner with some of the staff here. One of the guys, one of the customers, uh, uh, he, there he is standing there. He came in and he saw us having dinner. He's already had dinner himself. And he just uh, looked at the food we were eating. He said, you guys don't have enough food, I'm going out and he was trying to head out to buy us some more food. And that's really characteristic of a lot of the uh, RV community in China, probably anywhere, really. They're just really easygoing, nice guys to be around. They have a, a different way of looking at life. And as I said, just pretty pleasant to be around. So anyways, hopefully in the next shots will be of the RV that I'm interested in purchasing. All right, here she is. This is it, just waiting for the keys. 2.6 meters in height, Ford Transit. I don't know, there's gonna be enough light on the other side to show you guys the other side, but I'll give it a try. No, it's pretty dark. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. So it's only, it's only gone, uh, about 12,000 12, 12, kilometers. Uh, uh, this is where the air conditioning unit is underneath. So this is the, uh, the heater. Heater? The heater. Oh, okay. There's a heater. The heater is a dual purpose. One is uh, you can pump in hot air. The second is uh, hot water. Oh, okay. There's a hot water. How do you pull that out? That's the cooking. Oh, yeah. So there's an area to cook outside. Nice, that comes out quite a, quite a lot. Yeah, the gas tank. Cheaping that home yeah, Okay, and we're in, it's open. She's helping us turn off on, on all the lights. So because you can't see out of the back, the rear view mirror uses a camera, which is pretty nice. You can see pretty clearly in the daytime. In the nighttime, manual shift, diesel. Here's a uh, indoor cooking uh, induction cooker. Comes out, probably from the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Can heat up some soup or something like that on there. Some of the uh, power ports there. He's you see the air come up? The hot air. Oh, so yeah, there's the yeah, air vents. So this, these four seats in the back, so there's two seats in the front and four seats in the back, and they lay flat. Uh, yeah, oh, 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 so this turns into a bed, and then you've got a bed back here also. The back doors are open right now. This door is pretty cool. So it's unfortunate I don't have my 360 camera, 
basically you can stand in one spot and you just pull this around and all of a sudden you've made your door for yourself where the toilet is and where the shower is and you got another one here basically you pull around and enclose yourself look how that door rolls up It's got a 360 camera built in, so you can see around the entire car. That's pretty good while getting uh, used to the width of it. If you turn the turn the signal light, it will turn turn this. Yeah. You turn the camera automatically. Oh, all right. Okay, so yeah, when yeah. you do the signal, it will automatically change that. It's got a built-in computer Wi-Fi router with 4G, a 4G modem, so you can watch. Uh, uh, there's the. Uh, the solar panel of the charging. Yeah, so it's solar panel it's charging on the roof. The water, uh, the water, water meters it's here. It's refreshing means uh, charging right now from the alternator. Yeah. And then this is the TV here, which you can connect to the computer, watch stuff online. <laughs> 1.1 kilowatt charging. Okay, so it's charging now from the yeah. um, alternator. alternator. Yeah. Uh, JBL speakers throughout. Span that thing. Yeah, it is, and then you got this that turns into a bed too. So you can, you can convert this into storage area. We 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 could uh, yeah. Is there's not? Half of the bed, uh, is there is there much store? storage? Underneath, uh, oh yeah, let me take a look at the storage underneath. That's the storage underneath. Okay, all right. And, uh, and I suggest you don't need that kitchen. Uh, yeah, and then the storage can be uh, yeah, much bigger. Yeah, you can put that. Oh, and there's the uh, the the washing machine. Nice. Yeah. And the uh, uh, aircon is. Uh, uh, this has drying uh, drying also. This one? No, it just spin around. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. spin dry. Not not that. Uh, yeah, spin dry. Okay. See, uh, so you you waste a lot of space by by the yeah the gas side. tank. And I'm not sure if I really want the gas tank under our bed. Anyways, <laughs> exactly. I would rather use uh, electricity. Yeah. Uh, electric stove is good enough. I mean, it looks really nice, and it's a manageable size to drive. Also. Yeah. It, it, it probably shoot you at the first time. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I can't see myself really wanting anything bigger. Who knows? Once you get into RVing, then all of yeah, a sudden, yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> the but story the, changes. Like in, in this guy case, uh, you don't want to invest like a 450k for the for the first car. Right. And, and then regret, and then and then and then, and then change to another one a year later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Figure out what we like first yeah. from this. You won't. You. Well, I would say if you if you think this is uh, good enough, you okay, cannot go wrong good. with this price, uh, yeah. with this quality. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It is. You, you I mean, especially wrong. you just used it for one year, ten thousand kilometers. Yeah. Uh, there's the thing to open up the uh, the cover, right? Yeah, yeah. But this this I always suggest you convert this. Yeah, that'd be a good place to put all of our clothes. This this one is you can you can use because uh, you go camping, this camping chair is like here. Just put it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Much easier. Yeah. Like mine, I don't have this. Uh. Yeah. Uh. But uh, All right, guys, I'm going to keep looking at this, but uh, at least you got an idea. This is what I'm looking at. And uh, this is what I'm going to be thinking about. It'll make for a pretty epic road trip the next time around. So I'll see you guys on the other side, and I'm going to keep talking to them here. All right, guys, so that's it. That was the trip. I hope you enjoyed it. I, would have, I was hoping I was going to get a 360 camera in time for that trip, but it didn't arrive in time. That would have given you a lot better shots inside the RVs, but hopefully you still got a pretty good idea. Now, what I want to say, though, is uh, just for extra context, in, in case it was confusing, the guy who was speaking English to me was not the guy who owns the factory. He's actually a friend of mine who owns an RV here in Shenzhen, and he drove over with me to go and check it out. And the RV that I'm looking at, the Ford, it was built in the same factory where we went to go see, and he, the, the factory guy is just helping him to sell it. Um, he, he doesn't mind that he's going to lose a sale over it because he's actually pretty good with that. His factory is really small, as you saw. It's pretty small for an RV factory, and it's kind of like a passion project for him. 
he has nonstop orders and he could expand if he wanted to, but he just wants to kind of keep it small and kind of like a, um, just a small high quality factory, putting out a few units per year. And um, so he even said he'd give me an extra one year warranty on that vehicle if I bought it from his old customer. And uh, truth, of the, truth of the matter is, is that all, all of his friends who he meets at these RV uh, meetups and stuff like that, which he goes to regularly with his family, and that's why it's a passion project because it's just a product that he loves. And he's not trying to sell anything there, but when his friends do find out that he owns an RV factory, they go over and he does all kinds of stuff for free for them, just helping them modify the vehicles. And my friend who went with me, his vehicle he has now wasn't built in his factory. It was built in uh, Iwu in Zhejiang, but same thing. He helps him out a lot with his uh, RV. So my uh, perspective on that Ford that I was looking at, the smaller um, MP, uh, I keep calling it MPV, RV, is that I wanted something kind of halfway in between a minivan like this and a full-on RV, something a little bit more portable, a little bit easier to drive around, and potentially something I can park in parking garages like this. But unfortunately, it is 2.6 meters tall. This parking garage has a maximum height of 2.2 meters, but that's not a deal breaker. There's a parking lot nearby, which is outside. And the side benefit is that it will um, be able to uh, charge with the uh, solar panels on top while it's outside. The RVs that you saw inside the factory there, the little factory, they are typically the, the biggest you'll see in China because there's a rule here where if you don't go over six meters, you can still drive them with your regular license. And that's why those, um, is it the Isuzus? I think, I think it's the Isuzus with the flat nose fronts. They're becoming really popular because the nose of the vehicle is going to count on the uh, full length, the six meters. So um, what they do is they use these flat nose trucks and it gives them more space in the back to... Uh, to put the rest of the RV, make a bigger vehicle basically. So anyways, that's it, those are the considerations. Um, the only thing is they need to modify it also a bit because there's a cabinet behind the driver's seat which blocks the seat from going back too far and at my height, I need to put the chair all the way back. Same thing though, the guy said he'll modify it for free for me. So um, I'm gonna leave it at that for now and I'll put this video together for you guys. And hopefully the next time you see a big road trip from me, like the one that I did, the 4,000 kilometer road trip to Sichuan, it will be in an RV with any luck. So I'll see you guys next time.